Hi, right, Dyslexic Genius here. What we're going to talk about is the Victor II from Chasing History, and now we're going to work on the spring barrels and the spring barrel bracket. The bracket I took off in a previous video looks like this. There's a, there's a bronze or brass bushing in here. We have to take this out. But lo and behold, when I cleaned it off, I just wiped it off a little, there's no wear marks on the end of the bearing. This is a very good sign of the motor. So you want to take this apart. You're going to undo this screw, which will release the pressure on the bearing, because everything has to be cleaned. This is the easy part. After we get the whole motor apart, we're going to have to clean every piece of the motor. Every nut, every, every bolt, bolt every, every screw. screw, everything has to be cleaned. You just don't take them apart and go, oh, by the way. So then you just push that out. There we go. We got that apart. Now what we're gonna do, we're gonna take the gear off this. It's like a VIX-16 or gonna give that a little WD-40 to soak down the shaft a little. And we're going to come in here and we're gonna scrape all the crap out. Whoa, look at that. Yeah, all this wheel bearing stuff you just stick it in here because there's a recess right in here we want to just clean this out real quick I just get a shop towel and dump it yeah I have been reading online that some people just take the whole barrel like this and soak it in gasoline oh no no, people think you can soak it in gasoline and go with it. You have to take the barrel apart and check everything. You just don't soak these things in gasoline or lacquer thinner and go, oh, yeah, now I'm going to put it all back together and it's going to run. I no. gather they're not even taking them apart. They don't take them apart. Every, every square inch of phonograph motor has to be cleaned before you assemble it because it won't run. Now what you need, which is a cool tool, you need a windshield wiper puller. That's what this is. I'm gonna back that off. And you got that from uh, Automotive Parts Store? Yeah, I got, got this one from O'Reilly. O'Reilly? Yeah. Turn that down. Now, this gear is like a VIX-16. Eldor. It has a pin in the shaft. I'll show you in a minute. But it, this gear and this gear are pressed together. We have to get this gear off. And this is the easy way to get this gear off. Is using a windshield wiper pour. There we go. Nope, not yet. motor is absolutely glued together. There we go. And there is the illustrious pin. Now we have, now you take a little punch and you knock this out, and then the whole spring barrel comes apart. And this fits, this fits in here, but I'm not gonna knock this out because you have to take the end plate off first. Then you knock it out. So we'll wipe some of this oily crap off. The reason you wanna do this is there should be a little washer right there. See this little washer right there? Let me get that off. Because if you start beating on this to get the end plate off, I'm gonna show you that in a minute. OK. 
Okay, just a second. I'm going to get a straight razor. See how I use a straight razor? Pop that off. You don't want to lose that washer. Now, this is pressed in place. So what we're going to do is... What's gonna, pressed in place? This end plate here of the spring barrel is pressed in. It's tight. So you have to get it apart. We'll move this away. This and this. A few tools out of the way. Now what you do is you get a piece of pine and you use a two before. I just made this out of a piece of oak 100 years ago. You're going to hit it at a 45 degree angle just like this. Walk it around. Now you can see right in here the plate's starting to move. You're hitting 45 like this. Well, when you hit it, you don't want to hit the gear. So now you look inside and you go, okay. Now you turn this all over and you knock this pin out with a small punch and save the punch. It's this little piece of metal is critical, just like the washer. And that pin right there fits right in here. And that holds everything together and lock it up. Let's see if we can get it out. Yep. And there is a washer underneath here, too. Mm -hmm. I saw that. Yeah. Grab it with a pair of pliers and pull it out. Yeah, I can't really see. No, they bend it.
What you do when you run into this problem, you get a center punch with a very small tip on it, like this, not a big one, very small tip. And you're gonna come in there. Sorry, my hands are in the way. And a lot of times I take these apart and that washer is missing. So I'm gonna hit it from here. I'm going to call this my tip for the day and I'll come back on this. This is a little bit harder than I thought it was going to be. And, but the next video will show you getting this little pin out and you can see what it takes to take one of these apart. And you can see the oily, greasy, wheel bearing grease crap that I have to remove off this just to get it to play. And that is my tip for the day.